Today we're here at Camp Hi Ho and we've invited a lot of our families to come here as kind of a wish celebration for them because a lot of our families are from all over the state of Kentucky and they don't necessarily get to meet each other. Welcome to Camp Hi Ho. We are a summer day camp. Uh, we have horse riding, a lake to swim and fish in. We have a basketball court, zip lines, archery, rope swings, arts and crafts, you name it. If it is old fashioned fun, then we got it. The kids here from Make-A-Wish who have critical illnesses or diseases, they just get to be kids for a day. And that's all we care about, is just giving them a little time, a little window on a beautiful day like today to come out and just be kids. Wishes gives them something to look forward to, gives them a reason to fight their illness and do their treatment like they want to. It just gives them hope for there is something good coming to them at the end of their treatment and their um, doctor's visits. Mac was diagnosed with a pilomyxoid astrocytoma in his spinal cord and um, we went through surgery to remove the tumor and then he went through 18 months of chemotherapy. Mommy, don't be can to cry. I never cry. I know, he was very brave the entire time. You're my example, right? When you realize the impact you're making on a child's wish, you know, when you talk to their physicians, 89% of the physicians will affirm that granting a wish for a family for a child with a life-threatening illness it does make an impact on their overall health and their ability to keep fighting their disease. 75% of wish families' uh, parents um, agree that the wish itself was a turning point in their medical history. They all get a great family experience to where hopefully they can just physically like separate themselves from whatever you know is, is hanging over their heads at home so they can have an opportunity to kind of breathe and just focus on the things in front of them like catching a fish with their child or making a bracelet or, or helping paint a face or something so we hope that we can provide a safe and comfortable environment for everyone. It's nice that along the journey you have events like this to kind of give you a pick-me-up and a, a break, right? Yeah. The other aspect of it is, is a lot of people don't realize with Make-A-Wish, 80% plus kids go on to live healthy, wonderful lives. And you're making an impact not only on the child itself, but on the family, something that carries with them all year uh, and all throughout their life. Great, really. I wouldn't be here if I was feeling bad. That's true. He's doing great now. We stopped chemotherapy about two years ago, and uh, everything seems to be doing really well now. A lot of people in this area have heard of Make-A-Wish, but they may not be aware that actually wishes are getting granted right here across all the counties and the communities across the state. And so telling that story, getting that more visible, and making more kids aware that there is an opportunity in their families for a wish to come true for them. The biggest thing I would probably say is uh, just come out and learn about it. You know, at events like Camp Hi Ho, you can come out and get to know the board members, you get to know the WISH families. Um, you get an appreciation of what the organization is all about. You know, 80% plus of money that's raised goes directly to kids in Kentucky. So your money goes right to granting those wishes. So come out and get to see the kids, get to talk with them, get to know the board members. And I will guarantee whatever you put into it, you'll get tenfold back. For just being one person, the way you can help Make-A-Wish is just giving your time, your talent, and um, your resources to us to help us grant wishes across the state of Kentucky. Once you get involved, you know, you get way more out than you could possibly pour back in. Thank you, Camp Ohio, and Make-A-Wish.